In America's capital, some say rats outnumber their human counterparts. Others say they outsmart them. Thousands of rats live here, and not just the two-legged kind. We're talking about the Norwegian brown rat, a species so successful, it threatens to take over. In a trendy section of town, rats have moved in. Conditions are favorable, lots of garbage. And if it gets any worse, there's a danger of an all-out infestation. I can hear them first before I see them. You hear, it's the noise that gets you this. Look! Oh, shoot! I am scared to death of rats. Look, you see how big, you see the hole? I'm petrified of rats there. I have a phobia of rats. That's disgusting. Vivian Saab, a nurse, recently left the hustle and bustle of New York for a quieter life in Washington. She didn't anticipate joining a different kind of rat race. Look, 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 look it go in the hole. All I do is look out my window and say, I'm, I'm getting ready to be out of here. So you guys can have this apartment. What makes this a hot neighborhood for the rats? They're drawn here for the same reasons the people are. Plenty of fresh water, nice digs, and lots of great restaurants. That's heaven back there. The, from a rat's point of view, that garbage back there, they done struck gold. There's nothing, <laughs> Mexican food, soul food, caviar. Rats know a good thing when they see it. Like most of us, they're looking for long-term stability and they're particularly ambitious about getting it. Thousands of years of evolving with humans have made rats content to live not just near us, but with us. And that's Vivian's ultimate nightmare, one that came true. It happened when she and a friend were having a quiet night at home. We just were chilling out. It was, you know, girls' night, and I hear. I said, did you hear that? Do you know what that sounds like? I was like, come on, let's go in the kitchen. So when we clicked the light on, the light kind of went like blink, and then blink, and it came on. All I see was the rat hanging from the basket and the tail. It was climbing up on the, on, on the, um, oh, it was climbing up on, on the, um, I can't even talk. He, he was like climbing and, and the thing was coming down because he was so big. Phew, I, I flew out of there, boy. I flew, I left my friend and everything. Oh, God. A rat's ability to infiltrate is impressive. It's especially adept at burrowing and gnawing its way into a home. But the fact is, many rats jump in. Vivian's intruder probably broke into her apartment this way. After all, she's got a ringside seat where she can watch these acrobatics daily. They like, weigh it out, like, can I make it? And then they, they just like, and they jump. Jumping is one of the rat's most important survival stunts. A common point of entry into a building starts with a trip on a telephone wire, and then a leap onto a roof or into a window. What makes rats such powerful jumpers? Rats' leg muscles are packed with strong, dense fibers. These, combined with elongated hind legs, give them enough spring-loaded power to leap a distance five times their body length. In human terms, that's the kind of long jump that wins gold medals 